It's Bob and Tom This Week, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Hey, it's the Bob and Tom Show! We're going to eat them. I don't want to eat the turkey. I'm going to pardon the turkey. No. Chop his head off in public. Oh, oh you are full of piss and or vinegar this morning. Don't Step the, back. Don't, don't, don't baste your turkey in that. <laughs> oh, no, it's not good. <laughs> well, the vinegar especially. <laughs> <laughs> and we've, we've all had our share of urine. <laughs> Hello, Tom. How are you? I mean, seriously, we've all had our... You ever drink a glass of urine? No. Christy Lee on assignment. <laughs> it's sterile, and I like the taste. <laughs> Jessica Olsen here. Howdy. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Jessica. Hello. Hello, Pat Godwin. Hi, Chick. Can you do something about your friend? <laughs> yeah, Is he I cranky don't... today again? Yeah, a little bit cranky. Hi, Josh. Hey, Tricky. Hi, Ace. G. Willie. Morning, Jack. And so Willie's one that should be cranky. Here he comes. Why? How's that? No electricity yesterday all day long. It was fine. I read a book. It was a relaxing ah. day. Yeah, Wait a minute. Did. Cover to cover? Oh, no. Like a, oh. I, I, it's so funny because I thought I got pretty far in it. I was like, well, that was a nice relaxing chapter and a half. <laughs> I see. Was this wind aided? Uh, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> was there any reefer involved in this? Oh, guaranteed. You bet. Yeah, yeah you I, bet. I had a nice okay. relaxing. Wait a minute. Sunday. So you do you blaze? You blaze up and you read a book. Like I do a, a nice chapter. little read. I was reading. Um, <laughs> it's actually a book I got for Josh. I haven't finished it yet. It's by a comedian named Sam Talent, and it's called Running the Light. First chapter and a half, really good. Okay, good, good. No, no I, I want you to know that I offered. First, I offered to bring him over coffee and stuff. And then I said, well, why don't you come over to my house for the day? And then I said, well, can we bring you dinner? And you said no. So I, I want you to know that it, you, you had no electricity all day, but you could have come over to my house, which is two miles away. I could. I had some food poisoning stuff going on. It was kind of a... A perfect oh. day, huh? Oh, yeah. man. There yeah. are those days where you want your toilet. Oh, yeah. And you want it close. And Crap you wanna... it in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I, I can't believe you said that because... Um, you want to waddle over? We actually have... Uh, <laughs> I don't. I, I have made an, a great effort not to get involved in any way, shape, or form with uh, Josh's podcast. <laughs> uh, thank you, Ace. Get and, a guess. <laughs> uh, but, it's uh, like get a horse. See? We got a new word stuff, this man. Josh. Like <laughs> Josh does something called the uh, the word of the week. Yeah. Coming up, I have a word for you. Oh, okay, cool. Which, in a way, Chick oh, has just more. referenced. All right. But I, with a phrase I really like. When you said sometimes you just want to spend the day with your own toilet, hmm. boy, who doesn't? Who hasn't lived that? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I can't you. possibly go anywhere. <laughs> I'd have to rush to the bathroom. Driving the porcelain bus, yeah, that's always been my calling, favorite. Mine's calling the dinosaurs. Oh, no. okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we've all we've all we've all been there. Oh yeah. And, uh, ever ever had that thing where you really enjoy the nice cool, cool feel yep. of a of a tile <laughs> yeah. tile like, bathroom? Nothing yeah. like. Your, fa your face then on the floor. And, so. then you, and by the way, and you start having very deep religious thoughts. <laughs> yes, God, I will never drink that again. <laughs> uh, I promise you, just for if, if there's any way you can make so my urine stop shimmering <laughs> as, it, as, it, as it drips toward my face on this floor. So you know what I'm talking about, so Jessica. Oh, yeah. I always start thinking about how I really should start cleaning the bathrooms more regularly. Because you oh, see how yeah. dirty the floors are. And you're like, it doesn't matter at that time. But you're like, this is pretty gross. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would eat eggs off this if it would make me feel better yes. in the next few minutes. We could, we've all been there. Uh, but uh, so, Willie, you're feeling better. You got the power back last night, I heard. Yeah, power back. Power is back. I feel better. Things are okay. Okay, good did for a, you. Did a tree fall again? What happened over there? I don't know if a tree fell. There was a lot of wind it's, and the power went out. I went crazy. Willie's, wind. Willie's house is... Um, On there, an Indian burial ground? No, there's, yeah. Yeah. there's some kind of electric electronic gizmo there that whenever the power goes out anywhere in this country, it goes out there, and it's only his side of the street. Yeah. So oh, wow. the generator has been ordered. We we're finally giving up. His brother lives next door, and he's got a generator. Hey, wait, 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 really quickly. It was so funny because the plan was we're going to watch football at my house on Sunday. Sam was going to come over and watch it. A few of my pals were there. It was going to be really fun. And then the power went out. And then I got the phone call from Sam. He goes, hey, is your power out? And I go, yeah. And he goes, well, your best bet for watching the game is probably just on your phone now. So I can send you the links. <laughs> So instead of saying, why don't you walk the 30 yards to See, my back door? Being an only child, I, I don't understand any of that. But that's a brother thing, I guess, no, it's, right? No, it's also Sam's... Being uh, a jerk. No, no, no. <laughs> Sam's house is uh, quarantined uh, better than um, virtually any hospital in this country. No one's allowed anywhere near it. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, I'm not kidding. 
That means like you were ushered out at one point. Oh, I could never. I wouldn't or even not attempt allowed to. to I'm me. going over there today and coughing on the doorknobs. <laughs> yep. Well, he's got, Sam also has more cameras <laughs> than were used to oh, shoot God. Citizen Kane. Good. They'll see me he's, do it. He's got, me. he's got cameras. Uh, uh, he should, he'll be glad you just are going coughing. I'm, uh, I'm going to bring a little heavy artillery. <laughs> yeah, <they are. laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. That's well, just not just any man. That's Josh Thank Arnold. Oh. He's in the I hate Steven Singer.com sidekick <laughs> chair. I'll bet his armpits are hairy. Please. A bit, you, yeah. Uh, thank you very much. I don't know where she has hair, but she's got black black hair on her head. And it's, a little black. What, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's Jessica Alsman sitting in for Christy Lee. Hello. There's Chick. There's, uh, there's Ace. Patty G's in the next room. Ooh. Willie G's next to me. This is Tom speaking. Thanks for joining us. Pat, how you feeling? Okay? I know you a doubled up in your meds by mistake this morning. Yeah. You all right? Good. Can you calm him down? Better. Okay, good, good. Yeah, good, Pat, good. you never want to double up meds. Only double up condoms. That's what I always oh, say. Oh, let me write that down. Be safe. Yes. yes. Okay. Now, um, <laughs> uh, uh, where was I? Oh, I know. Uh, we we finished our sports broadcast. It was very exciting. Love and now it. we're now we're moving on to uh, the news with Jessica Alsman. What's going on over there? A New Jersey man has been hailed as a hero after he abandoned his prosthetic leg to rescue a man from Newark Bay. Anthony Capuano heard screams near the shore and noticed a group of bystanders watching a car sink into the bay. <laughs> the 29-year-old recalled, someone said out loud, does anybody know how to swim? And I was just like, oh, I guess that's me. And then I jumped in. And he swam in a circle because he was missing that one. And he uh, swam, and he swam right over the dam. That's your takeaway? This guy is a hero. Well... Capuano, a lifeguard and a swim coach, rushed out to the vehicle and pulled the driver Wait out just minute. before the car became completely submerged. How can you be a lifeguard and a swim coach with one leg? Well, it might, there might be a few um, difficulties, but this guy is a hero and he managed to do it, you jackass. Uh, he's, he's maybe smart. if he'd known it was you in the car, he would have said, let him drown. Why doesn't he just lean back and let life just cast He does a lot of leaning, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Really? That's where we're going with this? Do you suppose Do you suppose before he jumped in, he said to somebody, take my phone, take my wallet, take my leg. Here, hold my leg. Yeah. <laughs> Hudson County Sheriff's <laughs> Office said the driver, 68-year-old Joseph Cadian, had been trying to pull over when he lost control of the vehicle and drove into the yep. bay. I Idiot. thought so, Armenian. <laughs> hey, Bob's not here. Come on. Sounds like an Armenian. Oh. Officials say Cadian was released at the scene following a medical evaluation. Now, we have the audio from this, which is pretty interesting. Legit audio? Yes. Yes. Uh, this is the legit audio. I th And I think um, this may be the woman who was uh, that was is holding the camera, but let's listen, listen to this. Oh, get out of here. He got to get, get out the car. But the guy has to get help, too. He <laughs> might pull them down. Oh, I pull him down. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh boy. The, guy, the rescuer. He's out. He's out. He's out. Oh. Yeah. What happened? Why would somebody do this? Why would somebody do this? Okay, uh, whoever this lady is, <laughs> they've got to get her because uh, she belongs on what's the TV show? Um, this is uh, <laughs> Rescue Nine One One. No, 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 no. The, uh, the one about the comedian in the fifties. What's that called? Oh, Mrs. Maisel. Mrs. Yeah, Maisel. Yeah. Listen to this. <laughs> oh, why did he do this? I mean, it, it's they're all out of central oh. casting. The guy in the background. We do need that so I can, everything you say. <laughs> Why, did he, Why did he do this? Why did he do this? I'm Henry the Eighth. I am. Why is he doing this? It sounds, oh, wait a minute. It sounds like, um, oh, what's the guy's name? Uh, uh, Kevin Meany? No, why did he that? Uh, it'll, it'll come to me. Um, We're not rescuing people. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. How could he do this? At least they say. Yes, but <laughs> what is wrong oh with God. him? <laughs> uh, why did he do this? What is wrong with him? <laughs> Is he drunk or something? <laughs> Look at these great heroes. Look at these heroes. Oh, boy. Oh. Come on, man. Come on, come on. Oh. Why would you do something like it, It's hilarious. Sir. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, I, I was thinking of Ed Wynn. Oh, okay. yes. Why would you he do did. this? Jessica, you know who Ed Wynn is, right? Yeah, not at all. Uh, yeah. You ever see Mary Poppins? Yeah. He well, was uh, the laughing uncle. 
Oh, <laughs> I would almost say it's Adam Sandler doing Gap Girl. Yeah, it's, it is Sandler esque. Like, I'm the whore when he's yeah. doing that with Wow, that Alex is so. Baldwin. I mean, first of all, this guy's a genuine hero. He's got a prosthetic leg. The water had to be freezing. And the woman can't understand why this guy drove off the road <laughs> into this drunk? bay. Yeah, she can't figure it out. Shouldn't you wait till the guy's safe before you worry about how he got there? Right? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. If I were the guy, I'd look at her and go, it was an accident, you dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, he probably did, judging by, because they had to beep it a couple times. What do you mean, why did I do this? Well, just shut up and help. No, they, what she said was. Oh, why did he do this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're all set over here, baby. That's going to be great. God, I got this, so I got this. Funny. What is wrong with him? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jake, I apologize, but one of my goals in life is now to get this woman Yes. And you yes. in a smart car <laughs> driving from New York to L.A. Mm -hmm. Cameras off. <laughs> and let the reality show begin. No, I think we're going to go up here and uh, we're going to turn. Uh, oh, why did he do that? <laughs> How long did you last with her? Uh, oh, 20 minutes, 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, why two, did you two say that? that? I think, this is, I, think, I think I went to college with that woman. Oh. Yeah, I can remember. Well, I, mean, I, I actually remember walking down the hallway. And hearing this, this uh, I don't know, what at the time there was this thing. I lived in a co-ed dorm one year. Oh, right. Lay in the mm -hmm. wood. Oh, and yeah. um, oh, I don't know, maybe you can, this is a, a thing. Doing the... Uh, yeah. <laughs> the um, uh, this this woman, her name was Audrey, had Aud red hair. Audrey. And Audrey was uh, um, uh, from greater New York, but she would put roll her hair in giant coffee cans. Oh, yeah. Does this make sense? Mm -hmm. So there'd be this array of whatever, eight coffee cans on her head. Terrifying. It's like you grew up in Life magazine. What and, the and, and and the only the only telephones were in the hallway, so she'd be there in her bathrobe, and you'd you, you'd walk by and you'd hear Audrey blabbing on the phone to God knows who. But I can remember walking by and hearing her go, Streisand and Redford together. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Which was the poster at the time all over the subway. What is wrong with him? That's Audrey. Oh boy. Yeah. That's something. Wow. Yeah, that is something. That's so. That's the real audio <gasps> from. But oh. again, I think we're missing the larger point. This guy's a hero. Well, yeah. they don't know Anthony uh, Capuano who rescued this guy in the car. Yeah, but uh, Audrey goes on. Who is he? He's an elderly man. Maybe he's got nobody. Oh, oh Jeez, my God! So well, you know. Maybe oh, he's all right. alone in a fifth floor walk up. <laughs> you know, I Thinks got about nobody. jumping every wait, 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 day. Wait, 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 he was maybe dead his for six weeks never before anybody what was the found one you just played? This one? Who is he? He's an elderly man. Maybe he's got nobody. Oh, boy. <laughs> she says something <laughs> that she a says. a nice meal. Oh, why did he do this? Should I give him a pity? <laughs> <laughs> At least a quick handy, I think. Would be, a handy would be nice. I'll like an over the, one. over the waistband handy. I'll take one, one for the tea. Yeah, he saved a man. She is uh, driving across this great country of ours right now. All right. Maybe she made it. I'm not sure. Uh, but, I thought uh, she was uh, going to China to buy a baby. Isn't that right? <laughs> uh, let's start that rumor. Uh, but in the meantime, Pretty we sure go back to the sports desk with Chick McGee. Chick. Hello, friends. One college football team has planted the seed for a solution to empty stands during the pandemic. Oh, yeah? With the Pac-12 not... Thank you, Josh. <laughs> with the Pac-12 not allowing fans at any games this season, Stanford placed over 400 small potted trees in their stadium stands ahead of the home opener against Colorado on Saturday. Go Buffs. Now, huh. does anyone want to take a guess as to why they would do that? Well, they're, they're the Cardinal, right? No. The Stanford Cardinal? Well, their, but their mascot is a tree. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Makes tree. sense. Why not... Call yourself one thing and have the mascot the other. Stanford. <laughs> well, That's a swell idea. When Jim Plunkett played for them back in 769, uh, 70, they were the Stanford Indians. And Jim Plunkett was uh, partially Native American, I believe. Right. Plunkett McLean? S Jim Plunkett who? Oh, you're not familiar with Plunkett and McLean. I'm sorry. No, like nor is anyone else, <laughs> judging by the dead air. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare. Sorry, who's Plunkett McLean? Oh, just some of the uh, forefathers of modern politics, but that's all right. <laughs> where, where did you read about this? In, is this, in this, my class, was, modern politics. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> what country is this in? Uh, was this in Das Kapital? <laughs> Stanford's uh, mascot is a tree meant to represent the forest surrounding Palo Alto. 
Oh, nice. Well, so I'm sorry. So instead of... Uh, Stanford lost 35-32. Okay, so instead of having like the cutter cardboard cutouts, they have real trees in the stands. I got to think they have both, probably. Those poor saps. <laughs> I can't wait for... Uh, I, can't, I can't wait for... That was great. I'm sorry. I said that. that was I'll try it again. Poor saps. Those poor yeah, saps. Yeah, those right. poor saps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say that I can't wait for uh, the University of Colorado's home opener in Boulder when the stands are going to be filled with a bunch of buffalo running around. Yeah. That'd be it's cool. going to be wild. What is, that? what is that, some kind of oak? <laughs> Colorado. Uh, <laughs> did you know that if there was a breeze, did you see the game? There no. was a breeze. The, the, the trees did the wave. <laughs> As Jake would say, he's laughing like it's funny. Oh, my God. It must be. He's, he, maybe he's hearing it differently. Right. I don't right. know. What would you do? Uh, I, I, I wish I had an answer, but I'm stumped. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I try to branch out, but uh, <laughs> let's leave this topic. Okay, all right. well, that's they're all good. The they're all good. Uh, timber, exactly the okay. opposite. I couldn't think of a single tree pun, and now I feel like an idiot. You can do it. Come on, go out on a limb. Uh, oh, there you go, Josh. In my face, Josh. I like tree jokes. Not. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's get back to your, let's get back to your exciting topic. Hey, what was it? Uh, Milford hey. Swanson. Who were we talking about? Plunkett to? McLean. Plunkett McLean. Okay. Hey, Dad, can you quit barking at Josh? Come uh, on. There we go. There you got one. Finally. There we go. You got one. Finally. <laughs> I'm rooting for you. Oh, oh right. check, check Just no, when you no thought thanks. there weren't. I think Colorado's uh, mascot's a buffalo and uh, Ralphie. I yeah, think. they Ralphie got the like buffalo. like a bunch of like nine or ten Ralphies or something or thirty-two Ralphies. Yeah, and they have they have guys that go on the field. Yeah, yeah. Guys and gals, they wear they wear black shirts and jeans and they have to sprint. It's a real buffalo, Tom. They sprint next to it and they run it across the field before every game. It's yeah. insane. Ralphie the buffalo. Ralphie yep. the buffalo. That name does not match a buffalo. And uh, I don't, I'm pretty sure on this, the buffalo doesn't know he's at a football game. <laughs> no. Okay? He's not supposed, he doesn't know he's does a Does one of the guys carry a shovel? Why would they carry a shovel? Okay, so well. the buffalo does what buffaloes do on the yeah, range. I would imagine, and also probably a, like a, a sidearm, like a chip, like a chip guy. What buffalo, if the buffalo, buffalo chip guy? What if the buffalo goes, you know, wild and <laughs> charges the stands? They not, you're going to have to shoot him. No, is it is it uh, real grass or is it turf? Uh, I think it's turf. Everything's turf. Wow, yeah, so pretty much the urinates. Yikes! By the way, Plunkett McLean were British outlaws. <laughs> I was thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> George George Washington Plunkett of, of Tammany Hall, of course, he was sure. saying. That's, he's one of the forefathers of well, modern you know, politics. Well, you know, I knew that, but I didn't want to correct you on the air. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> you wouldn't be nice, Jay. Anybody? Anybody buying that? Okay. Tammany, of course. Tammany Hall, famous for their, their great you taffy. Half <laughs> <laughs> to be quiet. Yeah. Stupid world record. Oh, do I have to do? A fifth grader. He is believed to have set the world record for being the youngest person to kayak the Grand Canyon. <laughs> the oldest or youngest? Youngest. Ten-year-old Bodie Hillikey navigated Hillikey navigated all 280 miles of the Colorado River through the Grand Canyon during an 18-day whitewater journey with his family last month. He's not pretty a, excited about this. It. This is a world record. It's a world record. Yeah, unbelievable. He said of his. Well, couldn't they just take a baby and <laughs> strap him to a <laughs> strap him to a cooler and see how far he gets? <laughs> it was great. I'm thankful that we were able to do that with my entire family. And oh, wait a minute. Uh oh. Hello, Bob and Tom show. Hey, fellas. Floyd. <laughs> Have enjoyed your forehead program. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Good. Yes. Boy, Peyton Manning's got a healthy one, doesn't he? He's your head. That's a five head. Mr. Manning, yeah. yes, sir. You could kindly of write to get his big address <laughs> on here. <laughs> yes. I had to call you on the cat. Did you hear the one about the <laughs> lot lizard that set the state record for the most truckers at one night? No. no. <laughs> well, it was kindly bittersweet, you know. She betted 14 drivers, but was later charged with a super spreader event. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You want to tell it again? <laughs> Boy, this pollen counts something else, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe I'm going to stop counting if we can't flatten the curve on it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Floyd. Oh, very, very, very helpful. Uh, no, no. Very helpful. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, why did he do this? Uh, all right. Thank you, lady. <laughs> we certainly appreciate it. Um, we do have a, a, a couple of requests to get to. Uh, this uh, Thanksgiving season, I'm a big fan and uh, appreciate the letters, uh, uh, many directed at Josh. About his... Uh, yeah, I'm sick and tired of this. About his cooking. It's uh, all about Josh. Yes, yes. Happy well, Marcia, happy birthday. Marcia, Marcia, Marcia. It's Josh, uh, Josh, Josh. I, 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 I am the most popular, celebration but also... <laughs> for his birthday, his four-year anniversary, we we celebrated for a week. Uh, we did get this letter, because I asked, hey, I'm going to be making a Thanksgiving meal. First turkey ever. Along with everybody yes. in the world. Oh, uh, for... And, uh, <laughs> I was, you know, how do I keep things uh, from getting cold? If I have one oven... Mm -hmm. I need to cook uh, many things in there, and how do I keep the other things from yeah, getting you cold? You do have a stove, right? Many, many yes, things. I do. Yeah, got burners on it. <laughs> yes, and I. All right, so here, here, here listen to this. <laughs> Ryan writes in and says, uh, in regards to Josh wanting to know how to prepare a spread for Thanksgiving oh, oh, and make sure everything is ready on time. Timing is everything. Mm -hmm. Perhaps before Josh promotes his idea of learn how to eat, he considers. <laughs> Learn how to cook. Oh. The old adage of putting something on the back burner, burner meaning to delay, comes from an actual kitchen, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> so put down the fork, oh. take off the bib, zip up your fly, put on an apron, and get to work. Well, wow, wow. Here we go. Well, thank you. That was... Well, what are you cooking along with your turkey? Uh, two types of potato. I've got sweet potatoes and mashed potatoes and uh, peas and... Do you have a slow cooker? Uh, dressing. Yeah, I've got a... Because yeah. you can... I, you put, put something right. in there, keep it warm. Yeah. Yep, yep. Okay, okay, good. So, good, good. Well, it'll be fun. Yeah, it'll be good. I'm looking forward to um, it. And it's just going to be you there at the house? I might invite... Uh, oh, I don't hello. know. Mr. Pat Godwin. Oh, no my word. gosh. Walk across the street? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that'd be what nice. What should I bring? I'm just afraid if you come over... Um, I can no. tell you what you shouldn't bring. <laughs> that next Monday, funny. you and I will be in a different building. <laughs> so I'll, I'll have to vet this with I'll, the... I'll leave the, the powers, vid at home. <laughs> with the powers that be. <laughs> uh, well. You don't have any actual uh, lamps, do you? Where all your lights are uh, on the wall. <laughs> okay. So you don't have to knock. an incident at oh. my house. Charlie writes in, Josh, you should make a frozen pea salad. It has bacon and shredded cheese. Nope. <laughs> this isn't July. It's Thanksgiving. Keep your cold vegetable salad That's for a right. picnic. As you can hear, we're taking uh, all suggestions for sides. Yeah, and I, I, with Josh, there's nothing worse than cold pasta salad. Ever? Uh, you don't oh, like it I ever? I love cold pasta salad. salad. It's the worst. Okay, yeah, I'm a fan. Uh, I'm no, a fan. Let's take your spaghetti and freeze it and put mayonnaise on it. It's good. It's good. <laughs> well, when you say it like that, it's... Oh, well, wait a minute. Actually, uh, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> I mean, spaghetti I suppose, sickle? Uh, got this letter from... Um, uh, let's see. Um, uh, oh, here we go. This is uh, um, from Deron. It reads... Again? We just yeah, had a letter from I know Deron. we got another one. Um, uh, we bought a turkey air fryer. No kidding. Is that So is that like a gigantic... That's possible? I, apparently. We air fried the turkey. It cooked fast. Worked out very well. After the holiday, I covered it and put it in the backyard. It sat there for a year untouched. What? What? That's, yeah, I, What's going on? Okay. I'm, they put it under a canvas or something, I guess. I don't know. The next year, I, I, I pulled out the air fryer, dusted it off, and put the turkey in. <laughs> During dinner, the turkey serving I had tasted a little off. I dug through it and found a roasted black widow spider that had apparently decided to make the fryer its home. Oh, jeez. Oh, so he didn't put the turkey in the back. He put the fryer yeah. in the backyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The way oh. he wrote that and or you read it, it sounded like the turkey was in the back. Right, yeah. for a year. It doesn't really matter. No. Either way... I don't want to wash that thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure how this works, but they, uh, they do make air fry fryers for turkeys. Cool, really? very cool. No kidding, huh? How much is an air fryer for a turkey, Ace? Seventy nine ninety nine to ninety nine ninety nine. Well, how about yeah. that? Uh, how big it, does it say? How big of a bird you can put in it? Four pounds. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. More of a capon. Uh, uh, Speaking Chris, of Thanksgiving, yes. you can give your puppy something extra to be thankful for this Thanksgiving. A home-cooked meal. 
The website known as The Takeout has compiled a list of dog-friendly recipes for the upcoming Thanksgiving holiday. Many are made for humans, including shepherd's pie, candied sweet potatoes, even stuffing. But you have to omit, omit certain ingredients like onions, garlic, cinnamon, and nutmeg. According to the American Kennel Club, dogs can never eat onions or any other vegetables in the allium family, which include garlic, leeks, chives, shallots, scallions. Apparently, all of those are poisonous to canines. I did not know that. Pet owners, you can cross-reference the American Kennel Club's list of foods that are safe or unsafe for your dogs on their website if you plan on making your dog a Thanksgiving meal. So, plan on making your dog a Thanksgiving meal? <laughs> yeah. Speaking of reading, speaking of reading <laughs> well, it wrong. Yeah. Oh, the, <laughs> I thought I screwed that up. It's a cookbook. The Spaniel this year is delicious. <laughs> Where's Fido? I do. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. In the big room, Ace Cosby. Coming up as a, in, in a matter of moments. The Ace Cosby joke of the day. Let's just do it. Is it like a dentist visit? Okay. Let's just do it, Thank man. You, chick. Pull it! Uh, Josh across the way at the IHateStevenSinger.com sidekick desk and chair. Hi. Sitting in for Christy Lee, the lovely Jessica Halsman. Hello. With her jet black hair. Everyone else thinks uh, is brown. brown. It's pretty okay. dark brown. Okay. The blue eyes. Those well, are blue. If you didn't dye it, what color would it be? Brown. Okay, good. Uh, this is Tom speaking. There's Willie G and there's Patty G. Pat, Ooh. how are you, sir? Cold. Okay, good. Oh, um, poor Pat. It's 20 uh, degrees in here. All right, do you have a jacket? No. Okay, I've got one you can borrow. Okay. Just don't eat or drink anything while you have it on. <laughs> uh, let's see now. Where were we? Um, <laughs> oh, I know. Uh, Chick McGee had requested, of course, the Ace Cosby joke of the day. Yeah. These aren't jokes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> These are uh, cultural observations. The, the op-ed page of uh, the contemporary world, Ace. It's a public service. Of course. What do you do if you're attacked by a pack of clowns? What do you do if you're attacked by a pack of clowns? You go for the juggler. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> I like oh, man! I hate fake laughter. Yeah, me too. That was a, that's a good joke. That's a solid joke, Ace. Thank you very much. I'm sorry that it was ruined by Chick. Well, so, Tom, you really spun it. I mean, Chick goes, can we just get it over with? And Tom goes, uh, Chick requests we listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> you ever think of Thank getting you, Omaha uh, Steaks? Politics? Mm -hmm. Brought to you by Omaha Steaks. Thank you very much, Ace. <laughs> Uh, Christy, what's going on in the newsroom over there? Uh, well, NORAD, the North American Aerospace Defense Command, uh, has command, announced yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> that they will track Santa's progress around the world on Christmas Eve, just as they have done for the past 65 years. So cool. There are going to be some changes, though. Mm -hmm. The number of volunteers who take children's phone calls have been reduced to just... 10 people per shift, normally 150 to 160 volunteers crowd into a conference room at Peterson Air Force Base in Colorado to take two-hour shifts, amounting to about 1,500 people participating over 20 hours. Some callers may be able to reach a member of the military or other volunteer when they dial the NORAD Track Santa toll-free hotline at, write this down, one 877 Hi, NORAD. Yeah, I got it. But others will get a recorded update on Santa's current location. Wait, wait, do we have a naysayer? You uh, know, like this cool thing for the kids? No, I, I love that. I don't like anybody telling me to write a phone number down. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, really? You, well, you, bite you, me. So do you remember what was the number? 1-800-HI-NORAD. No, it wasn't. No, no. See, this it is, is like every time I ask see? you for the number here, you get it wrong. It's 877. 877-HI. What, what happened? Uh, did we run out of 800 numbers? Yes. I think we yeah. did. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we if did. You, if, if, you have <laughs> one, if you have one, they're very valuable. People want to buy them. Oh, I see. The NORAD Tracks Santa website, noradsanta.org, uh, will also have um, updates just, for who, their social media users. Who calls anybody anymore? Just go online. Jeez. For a kid that's so exciting to call NORAD to find out where yeah. Santa is, what the hell's Wait wrong with Wait for the you? big excitement at the end with Santa. Uh, Wait for that. Hey, guess right. what? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, the way this year... Real belly drop. Really used some magic this year. The way this year's been going, I wouldn't, maybe the Russians will take out Santa. <laughs> uh, you have the launch codes. You know, every year, <laughs> and this year's no exception, every year you give all of us the speech about Santa and everything involved with Santa. You all, you tell us, and now you have him being shot down by the Russians. <laughs> it's 2020, baby. Who knows? Good happen. <sighs> Love Santa. Okay, this will help. Okay. Okay. Hello, Bob and Tom Show. Hey, Bob and Tom. It's Donnie Baker. Oh, Donnie, hey, how Donnie. are you, sir? You know what? I figure now, if you try calling Santa now, you'd probably get put on hold, then have to hit 14 different prompts just to get to an elf who could help you, a star pound <laughs> zero seven. 
you know? <laughs> you are so I knew, right. <laughs> I knew Santa was fake when he called me when I was like nine years old. Oh, really? Yeah, my mom, Phyllis, and my Uncle Sonny do it. And before he spoke, I heard, this call is from an inmate. Ah. This call is from an inmate. <laughs> I swear to God. Hey, I don't know if you guys are up late at night, but have you seen this dick who's um, selling his own uh, pillow? No, oh, the, the my pillow. The <laughs> my pillow <laughs> guy, yeah. He says my pillow. Well, I actually called him up. You, I called the number. Yeah? You know they want like 100 bucks for that dude's pillow? Wow. For 100 bucks. If for 100 bucks, both sides of that pillow better always be cool. Yeah. Oh, State yeah. law. Sure. Yeah, 100 bucks for a pill is a lot of money. That's, that's like three cases of natty ice, uh, <laughs> four boxes of rubbers, and a pair of Reebok pumps. Mm. 100 bucks. <laughs> so that got me thinking. I got a pillow. I should start selling my pillow. We can't. I mean, this guy has the name My Pillow. He already sells that. No, Tom, you dumbass. That's his <laughs> pillow. I'm, I'm selling my pillow. Oh, oh. Um, his pillow probably sounds like mothballs in a bag of Werther's Originals. Have you seen him? Whereas my pillow smells like white rain, random hickeys, and third shift. I swear to God. Uh, I think, but calling it my pillow is his idea. I'm sure it's trademarked or copyrighted. You act like I burgled the whole ideal, Tom. Uh, apparently, you ain't never heard of this thing called um, intelligent properties. Cause <laughs> just because you invent something and I take your thoughts and do the same thing don't mean I stowed it. Yes, it I mean, last time I checked, <laughs> McDonald's and Wendy's both sell hamburgers, dumbass. Wow. Well, yeah, yeah. uh, he, he sleeps on a standard pillow and sells it. I sleep on a pillow, too. I'm going to sell the hell out of my pillow. Fact remains, there's room in this world for both our pillows. <laughs> oh, which got me thinking. Yeah. Christy? Yes. You could do the same thing, only you could start selling my panties with your pillow. Oh, oh how about God. that? I mean, not my panties. They'd be your panties if you slept in. <laughs> well, I kind of understood but, what okay, you meant, but, but that's but I bet dudes would buy them hand over fist. You could do the whole Pete Rose thing, and we're like 20 <laughs> pairs of panties each night. Yes. <laughs> that's 100 pair. That's Hell, that's over 20 grand a night you could be making just by sleeping or kegling in them. Oh, <laughs> kegling. Nice. <laughs> Anyways, if you want one of my pillows, just call 1-800-Donnie-Baker's-Pillow. I got Whiffy standing by a man in the phone line. So, oh, you know, <laughs> we ain't going to have some prompt or automated thing like don't rad for Santa. And we only take money orders and um, bitcoins. Really? And be <laughs> real specific if you want your pillow with or without stains. <laughs> <laughs> um, my left ear is uh, some major drainage. Oh, but it's the same price wow. either way. I'll say it like this. You've never had a better night's sleep than you slept on Donnie Baker's pillow. <laughs> my pillow. Not that guy's, but mine. <laughs> Me, Donnie Baker. Where our motto is, you'll sleep like you're coming off a seven-day Adderall bender in Vegas. You'll go to bed looking like Gary Busey and waking up feeling like a young Bob Seegers. <laughs> Trust me, Betty Lou's getting out tonight. She's coming back with one of my pillows. Wow. I'm Donnie Baker, and I don't want to make any money. I just love to sell pillows. Oh, okay. I got you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> in the glass over there, it's Patty G who's been working on a song uh, about a uh, news story uh, coming up. Uh, Christy, do you have the story about the um, guy arrested for humping a tree? I do. A Connecticut man has been arrested after he allegedly tried to have intimate relations with a stranger's tree. Mm. Naugatuck police officers responded to a residence last week after a 911 caller reported, quote, an unknown male in a backyard, half-dressed, humping trees, screaming, and eating branches. Oh, no. Whoa. Boy, whatever he's got, Man. he's got it bad. Yeah. Yeah. Holy yeah. hell. When police arrived, the suspect reportedly ran into a nearby house, causing the occupants to flee their home in fear. Yeah. yeah. The man later identified as John Fignar eventually <laughs> left the house and was taken into custody. Was it a fire? Fignar's in the backyard again. Oh, the 36-year-old faces charges of assaulting a police officer, breach of peace, resisting arrest, and trespassing. Oh, oh that's so weird. Did you see yeah, the interview a lot with the guy? On. No. Oh. Said it was the best piece of ash that he'd ever had. Oh, sure, yeah. You, you know, that joke. I knew it was coming. I just didn't know how. <laughs> Once you go northern white, you never go back. Huh? <laughs> he met the uh, tree on Oak 
Okay, Cupid. <laughs> okay, Cupid. Okay. Boy. Now, Pat, we gave you that assignment to mm -hmm. uh, there in the uh, what we're now calling the song laboratory. Mm -hmm. Christy had I'm a Tree Humper, which I like, but I thought it should be grittier. Okay. 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 Well, I went with a Skinner uh, thing. I hope you enjoy okay. it. Okay, good. Here we go. Mm. Checking out a tree that was quite lovely, all hopped up on the booze. <laughs> the leaves were soft, the knots were tight, and I was getting a little horny too. <laughs> then a dude came out and he started to shout, What you trying to do? I said, I just got dumped and I'm really drunk, and that knot looks like a hoochie coo. <laughs> I was humping tree trunks, humping tree trunks, mister. Humping tree trunks in your yard. <laughs> humping tree trunks, humping tree trunks, mister. Got sap all over the bark. Humping tree trunks, humping tree trunks, oh, Thank you, Pat Godwin. The, uh, the, uh, <clears throat> nice job, Pat. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Very, very good. Um, <laughs> well, God, what, is there a name for that probably? Yes, yes I forget there what it is. is. Yeah. There is. Having, having sex yeah, with we've, a tree. We've had these guys before. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. Really? As I live and breathe. <laughs> it's been forever. Hi, Ladies everybody. and gentlemen, Dr. Tom Whiskey. Uh, hi. I was just here making sure that Christy didn't have the CV. Yeah. I don't have the CV. Yeah, well. <laughs> Uh, hope the hope I didn't hurt you too much during the prostate exam. Oh, <laughs> I don't have a prostate either. Uh, well, yeah, I, didn't, I didn't have a glove. Either. Well, that's why he did the exam. <laughs> he kept looking. <laughs> that didn't oh, stop I, him from looking. I, I tell you that. Were rooting around for a solid five minutes. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Dendrophilia, Doc. Yeah. A love of trees. I'll never forget the story of uh, Roger Whiskey. Yes. Oh, Frontier John. Ooh. Oh, is that right? That's right. He, he, he decided he wanted to have a prostitute. Oh, okay. like Strumpet, the horse, lady huh? of the evening. A yeah. round-heeled uh, woman that charges money. Right. Uh, round-heeled. Sure. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, Joshy. Oh, yeah, well. So, yeah. Uh, Roger Whiskey, uh, he finds this <laughs> prostitute, uh, Julia Whiskey. <laughs> a pretty woman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a hindi. Oh, that's nice. That's <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, so, he goes to her. He's got his... Uh, He's got his $15 cash. Uh, oh, today's world, that'd be worth $30. <laughs> yeah. He says to Julia Whiskey, she was a pretty woman. Yeah, he uh, said Frontier that. Frontier yeah. prostitute, uh, I'd like to uh, have, a, have a, <laughs> a intercourse with a you, the professional prostitute lady. Okay. <laughs> a business transaction. She yeah. says, well, I can tell you're an amateur, Roger Whiskey. So I want you to have some practice. As you can see in my backyard, there's that tree back there with a hole in it. Oh, mm. boy. Mm. So I'd like you to go practice on the tree. Uh-huh. So he does, and he, she goes, come back tomorrow. <laughs> well, she comes back the next day, and she says, Roger Whiskey, Frontier John, I don't think you're ready yet. There's that tree in my backyard with a hole in it. Why don't you go back there and tra practice on that? Mm. And he goes back, and he humps the tree again, just like the fella in your news story. Mm. Yeah. Oh this goes on for six months. Oh, my God. And finally... She says to him, okay, today's the day. Ah. I'm ready for you. So uh, he, she goes into the bedroom. He follows her in. One thing leads to another. <laughs> and things are just about to happen. All of a sudden, he just starts beating her on the butt. Oh, oh boy. Oh. <laughs> and she goes, what are you doing? And he goes, well, I'm knocking with this bat to get the bees out. <laughs> 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 you know, that's, uh, that's uh, all right. That's variation of moving all the furniture to one side of the room. Uh, there's anything like the kangaroos, we're going to need a lot of room or something like that, right? Or the, or it's like the one with, <laughs> you're not here for the hunt, are you? <laughs> that's right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, these it's are all the same. classics. Yeah. Oh, thanks Love for coming it. in. Love thanks it. for coming in, Doc. Oh, you're welcome, Tom. Uh, oh, boy, okay. good to see him. <laughs> Getting the bees out. He that's learned. Funny. This yeah. guy's... <sighs> Humping a tree. What is it? The koala bear eats eats a bush and leaves. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like I, you know me. I'm getting about half the punchline right uh -huh. yeah. now. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Ace, Chick, Josh. I'm Tom. That's Willie. That's Patty G. Right over there at the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk, sitting in for Christy Lee. It's Jessica Alsman. Hello. You don't like calling her Jessica Alls woman? No? Uh, 
Uh, Real dumb. Okay. <laughs> All person. Maybe I don't care if it's man or woman. Yeah, I don't care either. You don't care? Okay, good. Okay. Um, um, Jessica All's person. Uh, Chick McGee's at the sports desk. <laughs> A man from Finland. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they all stuck like that in feet, land. What's his name? <laughs> he set the Guinness World Record for the fastest time to push a car one mile. Yes, see? You see? I, we I all see. see. <laughs> Did he push it over the finish line? Oh! <laughs> yeah, da, 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 da. Uh, you hey. see Kalani Aimi of Nokia. Oh, I bet they got good cell coverage there. Oh, oh boy, yeah. He pushed his 2006 Saab SUV. <laughs> Sweet ride. <laughs> Through a mile-long course. A course in 13 minutes and 26 seconds, beating the previous record by a full two minutes. That's amazing. <laughs> The 47-year-old <laughs> IT specialist, why am I reading this story? Was it a neutral? Said the feat was not a Wait matter a second. of... I, 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 that is a more stupid question than any of I have. No, I've that would be today. the... That's I've the, asked some pretty stupid questions. That's the Polish record. <laughs> hey! Was it a neutral? That's, think about it's that. Park. Do you think you could even... <laughs> could you even run a mile in 13 minutes? Yes. You think you could? I, yes, I could. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I would want to pass out, but I could do it. Okay, because pushing a car in a mile, that's that's amazing. The guy's 47. He said he uh, the feat was not a matter of brute force because he uh, he continued to explain he had re researched how to optimize the car's rolling resistance. He said people don't people often tell me that I don't look like a strong man, and I am not one. I cry at movies and I hold kittens. Oh and wow! I, oh, yeah, he really. Uh, now, is there a, a stupid know. question? It's on a course, so presumably there's like somebody in there steering. Well, that's what I'm wondering. Does he have to curve and like just you know drift it? Watch this. No, he has to steer it. <laughs> what a you stupid ever, question. You ever, <laughs> you ever pushed a car by yourself? You know how Ace and you has have to run up to the wheel. <laughs> you know, a nice follow-up to Ace Cosby's Unreasonable Confidence book could be uh, Tom Griswold and uh, Really Stupid Questions by Tom Griswold. <laughs> okay. You've got like a thousand of them. Um, don't you think that's incredible, pushing nope. a car a mile A normal middle-aged man can take on a world record challenge if they take everything into account and try to get the car rolling as lightly as possible, he says. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think he was. Was he uphill? Was he downhill? Anything about flat? that? Sounds oh, flat, flat to me. Course. Flat course? Flat back, course. Back to Josh's question. Was the car in gear? <laughs> Did you not get the joke that he was asking? <laughs> he's, he's laughing like he's laughing like he said it for the first time. Did you not get that he's making a joke? <laughs> yeah, of course. Just... He's done everything this bit. He, he's lied. I think you're insisting. He's living in a make-believe uh, radio. Uh, he acted a joke I did 40 seconds yes. ago. Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, it would obviously be a lot easier if the car were And laughed harder. Yeah. yeah. He laughed harder than when he said it. No, I know. Yeah, he preferred no, I think the original. Jo Josh's joke implied the car was in park. <laughs> I asked. <laughs> did you really not okay, understand? Okay, so yeah, if it's in first and it's running... <laughs> <laughs> You're kind of just running behind it. I see. He upped it a little bit. I just see. We're going from park to neutral to drive. <laughs> no, this, whole, just, this whole show is going in reverse. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> oh, I mean, I think we all remember but I think, the Rajon Rondo morning, but we're getting close to uh, that. Oh, so, I this, would, so this was in Finland. I would so. kill for this to be a Rondo morning. <laughs> Are you know, kidding right? me? No, I, Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.